in order for me to admire somebody, they usually need to exhibit exceptional qualities. The qualities prominent enough for me to notice a person are a fast memory, someone who's direct and honest, someone who is charitable from my perspective. These traits are a paragon of excellence, and I myself wish to exhibit these traits on a more consistent basis. A fast memory is important to me because it's a weapon that eliminates many of the struggles in life. My grandfather's roommate had a photogenic memory and could review his notes whilst taking an exam. In lieu of fiddling with study methods or fighting to get the information past your working memory and into your long-term memory. My grandfather's roommate's memory was brilliant, scintillating. He was a he was able to dry he was able to directly access his long-term memory with visual snapshots. I find honesty important because this is a quite a transition. I find honesty important because I believe the truth, no matter the consequence, will bring the best results. Notably, I find the truth especially admirable <laughs> admirable when it's embarrassing. Any situation where one embraces their suspose suspose putative defects should mold a better reality than the reality the one the individual hides their defects and puts up a front affectations in a world where everybody builds oh what i have to do in a world where everyone builds themselves off of their innate sense of self the ideas of others their environment possibly caused as a genuine support caused by a poor home life what is disapproved disapproved and what is approved to risk creating a more tacit taboos and to give power to more power <laughs> or to more potential roadblocks is a mistake. I believe in the situation or interpretation of the survival of what I believe in the interpretation of the survival of the fittest as the survival of the fittest community and not the fittest individual. I find that the individual should sacrifice a social comfort or two in order to help progress their community. The allocentric individuals are admirable to me because they thrive for the strongest community and worry little about themselves. In the Korean television program series Pinocchio, episode 8, <laughs> there was a drunk truck driver barreling down a snowy road, absquatulating from the police, about to hit a boy in the midst of crossing the street when a side character, the brother of the main character, rams into the truck precluding the truck from hitting the boy. To be a hero, I believe three qualities of fast memory, forthrightness, and allocentric behavior are all necessary slash rudimentary requirements to be an, to be admired en masse. Although these people could rhapsodize an individual solely due to a specialized skill or an act of heroism, I find those who aren't simply adulated but truly appreciated will have these three characteristics. What am I going on about? A quick memory to spike the peak interest in a person, example grata, quips, honesty, to allow people to live vicariously through them, example grata, Rick and Morty, countering the social affectations we are all used to partaking in. I don't know what I'm talking about. And an allocentric heart, example grata, private charities that arise to solve a problem, words, volant, moving quickly, lightly, as though flying, nimble scintillating, clever, elemosinary, char charitable, brusque, abrupt, or offhand in speech or manner, sanishor, center of attention, dunde, power to attract through personal charm, panache, flamboyant confidence of style or mena, germane, relevant to a subject under consideration, Ignimious, ignimious, deserving or causing public disgrace or shame, affectation, I left it blank, but it's uh, putting on a front, right? Abandoned sentences, introduction. In order for me to glorify someone, they tend to need to exhibit into a beau ideal, beau ideal, character traits, body paragraph two. <laughs> so this is the chaff of my chaff, this is kind of silly. A quick working memory eliminates friction in life. An instance of a speedy working memory, <laughs> working, working memory would be a reporter looking for a scoop, a police officer accidentally revealing a list of important telephone numbers that, that pertain to a case, and that reporter quickly memorizing those numbers. Hush, hush. Body paragraph three. My grandmother attends the soup kitchen on a consistent basis, sacrificing her time. No, she doesn't. The soup kitchen, nearly, quinti <laughs> nearly the quintessential volunteer gig. 
I personally find less desirable. To me, it seems the volunteers are just in it for a show with the real work being done behind the scenes by the employees of the shelter. My problem... <laughs> my problem is my charitable expediency, and perhaps a hero complex. I don't want to be the background character of the volunteer work. I wish to be the sign ashore. For example, I volunteered with a bunch of Mormons collecting textiles for the homeless. Textiles! <laughs> Sadly, in this instance, I'm not doing much of the brunt work with the Mormons managing the supply chain thingo. My dream would be to emulate the Newman's own brand and lead a charity. It would be the best I could ignore what it would be the best if I could ignore my concerns of being the cool charity character and help as a cog in a pre established system like my grandmother does. No she doesn't, that's a made up example. But all I can think about is is ways to spice up the my volunteer work, ranging from as ridiculous as a boogie a soup kitchen to as unprofitable as a homeless shelter school as a dormitory to as awesome as wear your dictionary the wearable equivalent to newman's own all profit all profits to charity to a charity company as an illustration a child is sleepwalking and urinates into a refrigerator the child the kid wakes up near a refrigerator before his family sees him and even though he could get away with his crime, he owns up to his crime. To illustrate, a lady farts in an elevator alone. A hard-boiled man walks into the... <laughs> walks in. He winces to himself. They go up a floor. The lady's peers walk into the elevator. And he takes the blame for her fart. I remember this being a problem of mine. Weak reference occurs when the antecedent of a pronoun, the, the word in which a pronoun refers has not been expressed, but exists only in the writer's mind. The grammar rule clearly states, avoid weak reference. The error may be corrected by substituting a noun for a pronoun or rewriting the first part of the sentence. 